All right, guys, we're back with the 2011 Suzuki Hayabusa. In the last episode, we tore a bunch off the bike, took the whole rear section off, found out that we had some hidden damage already on that peg, R repaired that, tore the side of the plastics off the other side of the bike. We were looking at that damage, or not damage, but that oil leak from the water pump area. And on this episode, we're gonna be basically putting that whole rear section together, putting the exhaust on, putting those pegs on. And I'm gonna tear the rest of the plastics off probably. We'll see how far we can get. Just pulled the other muffler off. Got the old exhaust removed. Just sitting there, coming out the cats now. Looked a little closer on these pegs, and actually they're not, they're not riveted on. That's actually just a C-clip, so I'm able to pop those clips off. Move these pegs a lot easier than I thought. I thought you had to drill them out, most of them are riveted on there, so that's actually really nice. I'm not sure if maybe these aren't OEM. Maybe they are. I'm assuming they are. They look like they are OEM. That's really nice that they didn't rivet them on, so it's actually kind of cool. I know you probably all want me to start it up without the muffler on there, but I don't think I'm going to do that. It's just, I don't think I'm going to like how that sounds, so I'm going to pass on that, honestly. But throw the pegs on there now, and then we'll be able to get that new exhaust mounted up. We'll start on that seat section. So i got the pegs off here, and this is how it always goes when I buy stuff, I swear, online. So the new springs... And these new pins just are not working. This is the old spring, the OEM spring, the new spring, clearly way bigger. And then this is the OEM pin. Just not long enough. So when I put this pin that just came with it through here, it is not long enough to come through. So these are marketed for a Hayabusa kind of annoying but luckily I still have the old hardware I'm gonna have to reuse the old hardware it's just how it goes let's get it on there got a new peg on there works like it should had to use the old hardware old spring and everything works just fine let's run on the other side let's start working on this tail and this exhaust right here all right guys Got the whole rear section assembled. Got the new light installed. Took a little longer than most rear sections. A lot of rubber grommets on here. A lot of mountain brackets and stuff, but got everything installed like it's supposed to be. Got the lock in there. And we just gotta throw it on the bike. All right, got the rear cowl all hardware installed. Ready to throw on the bike, use the rear seat as reference here, and I'm going to have to probably jack these rubber grommets off the rear seat, put them on the cowl, but no big deal, because it's its rear seat, so let's go throw it on. I just threw it all on there, kind of see what it would look like. Everything works like it should. key works, all the lights work. Integrated in the tail light. Kind of looks sick. The stock one just had the turning signal right here. It didn't have the turning signal integrated in with the brake light. I think it's kind of sick. Kind of want to smoke these out now. Have not 
tail light smoked out. Super clean. We're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw in all the little bolts, tighten everything down, and then I'm gonna think I'm gonna throw the exhaust on. Alrighty, got the new slip-ons on. Rear section's all bolted down. Nice and solid. Both the cans are on. I haven't tightened the exhaust down just yet. I'm not sure. Kind of wanted the equal amount more. They kind of got to aim the same direction, I realize. I think one's higher than the other or something like that, but I want to even that out before I tighten them down. Let's hear what it start. Let's hear what it sounds like. I haven't started up yet. Plastic's taken off this side as well. I'm able to assess the damage over here a little bit better. You see the scratching on this cover and this cover, as well as the bottom of this cover. So even a little bit down right there. So I'm gonna have to tape this all off and I'm gonna repaint it. I'm gonna sand this down a little bit. I think it's all it's all just cosmetic, nothing super serious, but definitely gonna wanna repaint that. Clean it up a little bit, it was pretty dirty. I'm gonna clean it up one more time before I paint it. That's something I'm probably gonna do tonight. Get that out of the way. It's still kinda cold outside, so I went ahead and I brought all the plastics inside. We're actually gonna go inside the house, put the side fairings all together. They're, they come in like three pieces on each side, so it's like, Six pieces you gotta put together, we're gonna do that. Also gonna fix this, looks like someone did the Sharpie special over here. That's just not, that's just not how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna clean this cover up, haven't cleaned it yet. Get that prepped up for paint, paint both sides of these covers. And the one main thing I gotta do is figure out why in the world it is leaking oil, so. coming down and dripping off the oil pan right there. I thought it might be the oil pump, uh, the water pump, but the water pump is dry, so I have to try to figure this out. So we're gonna figure out that leak, paint those covers, get the plastics together, get a spike together. All right, went ahead and cleaned it up. Cleaned the frame up a little bit too. Got much cleaner over here. Frame was looking kind of dirty. So now I'm gonna go ahead and sand this, I think. That's probably okay, but that's gonna need sanded a little bit. So I'm gonna sand that top one a little bit. Then we're gonna tape it off and we are going to paint this. I right, got everything taped off. I thought about just uh, pulling these covers right off and doing them off the bike, but there is a lot of cords going on. so. That'd be a lot easier just to tape it off. Only took a couple minutes. We got a uh, blanket covering the gas tank because the gas tank paint is really nice. So it's a lot easier to tape off. Let's hit it with that paint. Got two coats on there now. It's looking a little better. The only spot I'm worried about is up here where I sanded it. That's coming along decent. I'm gonna throw a couple more coats on, probably two more coats of black and then one or two coats of clear. And then we'll get those plastics together and 
Hopefully we can figure out that leak. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. In this video, we got the whole rear section installed, painted the side covers, got the exhaust installed. In the next episode, you're gonna see me putting these decals on, getting the side plastics all installed, and then we're gonna get the bike finished up, hopefully fix that leak, and we'll get that bike running, and we'll be able to enjoy it a little bit. Thank you for watching.